Be hurricane prepared. Made possible by Olympus Insurance. On the web at olympusfl.com. Hurricanes, unquestionably one of the greatest storms on earth. Dealing with them has become a way of life for coastal residents. While it's true many years can go by without a hurricane impacting your particular location, when they do, the results can be life-changing. Most people do not realize the impact that hurricanes have had on our history. Yet, as our coastal population grows and the return period between especially major hurricanes lengthens, complacency often sets in. This video series, Be Hurricane Prepared, will help you to better understand hurricanes from the very basics of what they are to developing a common sense plan to lessen their impact on your family. We'll hear from experts as they discuss topics such as meteorology, forecasting, evacuation, nutrition, generator safety, insurance, social media, and much more. Hurricane season does not have to be anxiety filled. The more you understand about these incredible forces of nature, the better prepared you'll be in the long run. Let's begin by getting to know the enemy. Here is Mississippi State University instructor of meteorology, Greg Nordstrom. I want you to think of hurricanes as your enemy. And just like in times of war, you need to understand your enemy. You need to understand its tendencies. You want to have surveillance. You want to understand the different things that your enemy does. Hurricanes are the extreme category of what are called tropical cyclones. These storms are born over warm tropical and subtropical waters. They get their power from this warm water, which is what makes them different from mid-latitude storm systems like the ones that produced deadly tornadoes in the spring of 2011. The hurricane season officially lasts from June 1st through November 30th every year. The peak months for hurricanes are August through October. Water temperatures need to be about 80 degrees Fahrenheit in order to provide the vast amounts of energy that tropical storms and hurricanes require. In fact, the deeper into the ocean that this warm water extends, the more potential energy is available. Hurricanes have four main hazards that you need to be prepared for. Winds, storm surge, freshwater flooding, and the possibility for tornadoes and downbursts. These hazards will extend out from the center, or the eye, for several hundred miles in some cases. A tropical storm or hurricane is not a point on the map. The effects will be felt over a wide area even if the center does not pass over your location. Even a tropical depression can bring strong gusty winds with heavy rain and possibly even tornadoes. A tropical storm has winds up to 73 miles per hour and is more organized than a tropical depression. The risk of damaging winds increases and driving becomes very difficult. The rain bands are better defined and it is possible to have fairly significant storm surge from a strong tropical storm. A hurricane has wind speeds of 74 miles per hour and up. Gusts can reach 150 to 200 miles per hour in extreme cases and cause tornado-like damage like Hurricane Andrew did in 1992. Try not to think of hurricanes as weak or strong. A hurricane is a hurricane. Obviously they behave differently depending on how well organized they are, but make no mistake, all hurricanes have the potential to cause damage and loss of life. Each four of the hazards, wind, storm surge, freshwater flooding, possibility of tornadoes and downbursts, each one of those is a weapon of your enemy, and in this case it's a hurricane. So make sure that you understand your enemy as far as what it's capable of doing, you understand the weapons as far as what these hazards are and what they're capable of doing, and that you form a good battle plan so you're prepared, that you and your family are ready when this enemy comes, and you're not taken by surprise.